Hi, my name is Teresa Camper and I have a PhD, a doctorate in prehistoric animal skin tanning technologies, but more importantly, I have been brain tanning for over 20 years and making clothing from that brain tan. So what I'd like to talk a little bit about today is the stitching material that you can use for brain tan. The one I'm going to go into first is leather lacing or thong. I'm going to talk about how you make it, why you make it, and what it does in relation to the characteristics of the skin. that makes brain tan amazing and wonderful is that it's soft and stretchy. However, it also means that it has an epic amount of potential stretch. So its edges can stretch and stretch and stretch. So one of the ways to deal with that is to finish your edges. And in order to finish your edges, you need some sort of stitching material. Now, edges like the bottom of a skirt, technically the bottom of shorts, bottoms of dresses, the bottoms of trouser legs, that's simply an aesthetic choice if you want to finish that seam. It's not really a functional issue if that seam stretches out, gets wavy, and looks a little weird. It just looks weird. However, if you're working on making tailored clothing, anything with a lot of lines that needs to hold its shape, like the vest here, you really do need to finish your edges and have seams that don't allow that garment to stretch. Your seams hold that garment in place. And one of the ways to do that is with buckskin lacing. Um, what's wonderful about buckskin lacing is that buck, the buckskin lacing is made from the same material that your garment is made from. Therefore, when you wash it, and yes, you can wash buckskin, and I please, please, I suggest you do. We love it when you wash your clothes. Um, it means that it behaves and it moves exactly the same as that buckskin clothing does. So you don't have any problems with your, with your stitching material shrinking or changing or moving, behaving differently than the actual leather that it's used, being used to sew. So the, one of the ways, there are a number of ways, you can do this with a knife, you can do this with a stone blade. Um, however, probably the easiest and most likely method that you're going to use is just to pick up a pair of scissors, cut a scrap of leather into a semi-circular form. It just needs to have no points, no square edges. It doesn't really matter if it's an actual circle or an oval or a really wonky potato shape, it doesn't matter. It's what it's wonderful for, use up all your scraps. So what I'm doing is I'm simply grabbing it with my left hand, obviously reverse it if you're left-handed and not right-handed, and I'm carefully going around and cutting nice, even lacing, just in a circle all the way around the skin. And this is the way that you can get a very, very long piece of lace out of a very small piece of skin. Now, you'll notice that there's, it's never, perfect. You always get some wider bits and some thinner bits and those make it challenging to sew with in that they catch in the holes and if you do fancy stitch work they tend to disrupt the pattern somewhat. So one of the ways to get around that to make e more even lace and also to get rid of all of the potential stretch of this lace is to put that lace in water. So take this and here's some stuff I cut just a little while ago. So just put in water, just plain water, nothing important. And then in order to get nice even lace that looks like that, 
you're just going to take this lace and then wrap it, pull firmly, not too tight. You don't want to snap your lace. It isn't, it is strong, but it's not indestructible. And just wrap it around. Back of a chair, piece of wood, whatever you have handy. Once it's all wrapped around, just like that, tuck that tail in. And then you're gonna let it dry like that. And when it's done drying in this form, you've pulled out all of the potential stretch of that lace. So that lace can no longer get any longer than it already is now. So when you use it to sew your seams, the leather around that seam and the leather that that seam is holding together can only stretch as far as the lace allows it to. So that lacing is what holds that seam in place. That seam is what holds your garment in place. So if you're interested in the skills I teach and you'd be interested in where I'm teaching in the future, please just look down in the discussion box and there'll be a link there. Okay, so if this was of interest to you and you're interested in learning anything more about this type of skill or anything to do with leather tanning for that matter, um, I'll be teaching again here at Rabbit Stick next year. And thank you so much for watching. Perfect. Good? Good. You cool with all of it? That's dandy. <laughs>